Hey everybody, welcome back. We're doing some more Bridezilla's because that's where the algorithm has placed me. Am I the a-hole for losing weight before my sister's wedding? I already know where this is going, but go on. Mmm, uh, uh. delicious. I, 28 female, used to be quite overweight. Over the last year or so, I have made changes in my life and have successfully lost around 100 pounds. Holy crap, in one year, that's amazing. I don't live close to any of my family and don't post on social media, so my family wasn't really aware of my weight loss. I did mention that I was making healthier choices, but that's it. It's just that every time before I've tried to lose weight, it hasn't worked out, so I didn't want anyone commenting on it. That's fair. My sister, 26 female, got engaged last year and I'm super happy for her. Due to circumstances, the wedding has been pushed back. It's happening a week from now, and because I haven't seen anyone in so long, I decided to come down two weeks earlier to help out and catch up. Well, when I came to see my family, my sister freaked out upon seeing me. As it turns out, she has gained a bit of weight. Not super noticeable, to me she still looks great. But I think this is the first time in our lives that I'm smaller than her, and I've always been the fat sister. Bruh, I cannot even tell you how, how, I don't even know how to talk right now, like. I can't even tell you how much I relate to this, but I'll, let's, let's just keep going. She basically accused me of trying to upstage her and my parents are fully taking her side. I'm not really sure if I'm in the wrong here as so many of my family are taking her side of things. Am I the a-hole for losing weight before my sister's wedding? You know, I'm gonna play the devil's advocate here and say, you're not the a-hole. <laughs> Isn't it just the worst when like you were, let's say, you know, the fat friend or the fat sister, uh, you were maybe the awkward one in the friend group and then the friend dynamic changes for some reason. Maybe you, uh, you know, start liking yourself a little more, you lose a little bit of weight, you start getting the attention and then all of a sudden those friends dislike it. Like they just can't be happy for you. Bizarre, really. Is that friend really a friend? I don't know. I've definitely experienced something like this and I'm telling you that you're not the a-hole for making healthy choices and improving your life. I'm pretty sure that if she had made healthier choices and, you know, remained her normal size, that she wouldn't be upset about, about you losing weight. I can't even say these things out loud. It's so messed up. I hope you guys work it out. Insecurity is a funny thing, isn't it? Wow, OP, you spent a whole year of your life losing weight and making sacrifices just to upstage your sister. How dedicated and petty of you. <laughs> Sarcasm. How delusional is your family? Not the a-hole. Instead of being happy that her sister's making healthy changes, she made it about herself, totally self-centered. I could kind of understand the knee-jerk reaction if you made a grand entrance on the day itself. I disagree. But we're talking a full two weeks earlier in a completely different venue. Your sister is mad at herself for getting fatter and taking it out on you. Not the a-hole. I had a friend show up to a gathering some years ago. He was always overweight while I was always physically fit. He showed up absolutely muscle bound and cut while I had gained weight due to poor life choices. I was extremely happy for him. I don't understand being awful to people you're supposed to care about because they have improved themselves. Probably because you're a decent person. And by the way, uh, this is your reminder to subscribe. I know that you've watched like eight of my videos. You know, like it doesn't take you much time, doesn't cost you anything. You do have to look at my face a lot, but it's not that bad to look at, is it? How do I go about telling my fiance I don't want his son in our wedding? Or maybe I'll just purposefully have the date land on a week we don't have him. Am I wrong for this? His son is five, but is blatantly rude to me due to his mom coaching him to say things and ignores me when his mom drops him off and we all come to say hi. I live with my fiance and my twin. He loves my twin and seems to hate me and it's getting to me. In the past, CPS was involved because mom was trying to coach him to say inappropriate things about me. I just don't want him at our wedding if he's gonna continue to disrespect me and I can't get over what he's gone along with for his mom in the past. He's never been loyal to me because I'm not his mom mom, but I deserve respect. I've done nothing to him, but try to love him and I can't do it anymore. It's getting hard to fake the funk. He's five, five years old. He doesn't really know any better. I don't think that you should take out your anger on a five-year-old. Cause that five-year-old is gonna grow up and eventually he's gonna understand that maybe he was a little too harsh on you, but he's not gonna be able to forgive you if you don't invite him to his father's wedding. Again, 
He's five. Here's an idea. Why don't you get his dad to have a little chat with him? Maybe you should have a little chat with him. Like, be frank. Just talk to him about it. Kids aren't animals. They can have conversations. That's just my two cents. Of course, I'm not dealing with it in the same way you are, but that's how I feel. You can quarantine in my place till you feel safe to go back. I'm so sorry. I just can't take the risk. COVID is really serious and people are still dying. People will continue to die. And oh no, don't catch the flu because you will also die. The death rate is dropping. I don't see how a mask will prevent you from spreading it if it can't keep you from getting it, if that's your logic. You wait till the last second to tell me that you can't make it and expect me to pat you on the back and to tell you that it's okay because you are scared. My entire family is scared. That's why we are taking precaution. But best friends like to walk away from each other on big days. Yep, see where you stand with me. Don't say you're my best friend and then not be willing to stand by me on my big day that you have been a part of the entire time. You are walking away from me. I gave you solutions to make it work and and you're not willing to come. I'm beyond hurt right now. You broke my heart. I'm so pissed off and upset. You don't even care enough to come to my friggin' wedding. It's a once in a lifetime event. I mean, realistically, I think we're at this point where, um, yeah, it sucks when people cancel because they're worried about restrictions and, you know, their health, but you can't, <laughs> but you can't be mad at the person, you know, you just can't. It's one of these things that sucks, but you can't blame it on them. If it's really that important to you, maybe you should consider postponing the wedding or, you know, working out options for people to not attend like a live stream or something. I know it sucks. It sucks for everybody, but I can understand wanting to stay home, especially, you know, in the, in the thick of it, into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. I can understand that. Can I use this as a safe space? Cause while this isn't strictly vegan, I need a little advice from my favorite hive mind. My stepson's getting married soon and soon to be daughter-in-law came up to me today after finding out I intend to make my dress. She was not happy. Long story short, she's mega pissed, like raging pissed because it's cheap, nasty, tacky and how dare I do something like that on her big day. Personally, I think she's just jealous and doesn't want me to show up, kidding. But jokes aside, I'm more than a little hurt. Don't exactly have the funds to go buying dresses all the time and I love sewing. So I told my stepson I'll be wearing black instead cause it's his funeral. <laughs> Again, may or may not be joking. Should I buy? or say balls to it and make one anyway. Honestly, I'm gonna have to see the dress. <laughs> Are you not in the wedding party or anything? I need a little more context, but if you're not in the wedding party, I don't think she has a right to tell you what to wear unless it's a theme wedding. Right, chair? Why do you only talk when I don't want you to talk? Shh, that's enough out of you. Shush, shush. I'm really not trying to catch heat for this, but I need opinions. My childhood best friend and I always talked about being in each other's weddings growing up. Our parents are friends and we've been friends since we were babies. I moved out of state a couple years back, but we're still close and text a lot. I'm choosing my bridesmaids and I really want to ask her to be my maid of honor. My dilemma, I haven't visually seen her in a while, but yesterday I saw a, vi I saw a video of her and sometime recently, she developed a large cavity in her front teeth. Am I shallow for worrying how pictures will look on the big day? I adore her, but I also don't want to look back on pictures and have that in there <laughs> or have family judge. I don't know what to do. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. My fiance is concerned. <laughs> is he? Do I ask her and just hope it isn't noticed? Do I not ask her and risk the friendship? You really think your whole wedding is gonna be ruined by just some <laughs> tooth? <laughs> it is true that if you don't have problems, you definitely create them. Oh, this tooth. She just like, her tooth is just like really like black and stuff. And like, I'm just like, can I just like ask her to keep her mouth closed the whole time? <laughs> what do you expect her to do? I don't get it. I don't get it. What a weird thing to be upset about. This one tooth will ruin the aesthetic of my entire wedding. You ruined your own wedding, sweetheart. Our best man just admitted to cheating on our maid of honor. Question, do I start looking for a new maid of honor? Can't get a new best man, it's at his house. So let me get this straight. Your presumably best friend was just cheated on and now you want to kick her out of your wedding at a time when she needs you. Yet you're not willing to maybe talk 
to the guy that cheated on her and just, I don't know how to solve that, but the fact that you want to kick her out and not him is kind of messed up, like a little bit. It's just, it's, it's the only caring about the wedding for me and not caring about the maid of honor. That's what's upsetting. Does getting married just make everyone absolutely bonkers? Cause I have been, I have heard that it does. I have heard that weddings are extremely stressful. Sometimes I definitely understand the stress that comes with a wedding. I can understand people giving a little bit of attitude, especially on the day. But like, are we forgetting how to like be human beings and to empathize with others just because we're getting married and things might be a little bit inconvenient for a while? Oh God. Is anybody doing a live painting? Thoughts? Was going to until it started out to be $1,000. Let me know if you find anyone cheaper. Yeah, that's what I'm having an issue with. Prices are shocking me. Same, although they're beautiful, we've spent at least $27,000 so far. I just don't see $1,000 for a painting unless it's Picasso. That would cost a lot more than a thousand dollars. I'm just saying. Right, lol. I mean, we're doing a photographer than a video. Surely I can get my paintbrushes out and paint a picture. So, so do it then. <laughs> just kidding. I need to take paint classes. I got in the wrong profession. The least expensive Picasso ever sold was forty-five million dollars. One thousand dollars for a live painting is absolutely nothing, given the work and years that have gone into mastering their talent. If you can't budget for that, then that's completely understandable. But can people please start treating artists like the actual people they are and value their work? You know, as someone who paints, you could be working on a painting for months, like literal months, maybe even a year, if it's a big painting or something that's super, super important to you. And the fact that live painters get S these stunning wedding paintings done, you know, within the small time frame that they do, the amount of pressure that goes into creating this perfect painting, and also the amount of skill that goes into that is worth a lot more than a thousand dollars. How should I word a wedding invitation asking guests to pay for their own meal? I'm paying for everything else. That would be their gift to me. Hmm. I'm a little on the fence about this one. If they don't have to get another gift, I don't see it as that bad. But again, I'm just, I'm baffled at the idea that people wanna have weddings and they're not budgeting for how much it's gonna cost people to eat. I feel like that kind of comes with the territory, no? Why do people spend so much on these things, you know? I just don't know if it's worth it. Let's just all elope. Will you guys, will you guys elope with me? <laughs> Controversial topic, I know, but bear with me through this and hear me out. I don't want to see guests in masks in my video or pictures. I wanna see smiling faces and not squint eyes. How can I nicely inform guests that I want to see their faces? I would say don't have your wedding during a pandemic and then you won't see masks. Or you could do something where you test people before the wedding to make sure that everyone is all gravy and then they don't have to wear masks. That's what they're doing at big events in uh, Ontario. I don't know about everywhere else, but I mean, we don't have to wear masks to big outdoor events as long as we're vaccinated or we have been tested. I feel like that's a solution for you. Maybe you don't want to pay for the test, but if that's uh, not something you're willing to compromise on, then that's, uh, I mean, just, there you go. That's all I can say. And lastly, just to wrap things up, everybody says they want a fairy tale wedding, but when I show up and curse their firstborn, suddenly I'm a jerk. Well, you are Maleficent, so one shouldn't expect anything else. Alrighty guys, don't forget, it's time to clean your sinks, put some bleach in there, make sure it's nice and tidy. Sinks are gross, okay? Don't want you dropping anything in there, putting it in your mouth, you'll die. Only thinking of you. Subscribe!